Hello, my friends, my weirdos. Here again, your professor and your weirdo as well. Welcome on to the episode number mbiri. Episode toka kwa Kenya number mbiri. Episode two of Weird Confessions. Where is it now, my producer? Oh. Ooh. Okay, episode two, you know, I, I have my producer, she's called Amber, on the other side, so we'll be, we'll be talking together, so you'll be seeing her one day here on the short seat with me. So, uh, last time we had a very weird confession <laughs> about a sugar mommy, this time in episode two, guess what we are bringing, but before you guess, do one thing for me, like this video, share it to your friends and family, and then hit the like button down here, so that you can always be part of the channel's uh, subscribers, and we can always move this together. Today we are going to be looking at uh, so uh, something else, because someone uh, said, sent me a confession, someone had to confess to the professor. <laughs> so, uh, admin, how about this weirdo who suffered with a loan up? Nze, kwen, eh, kandubawe. This was now, this is a friend that told a friend, so a friend is confessing to us, you know, he's giving us some lugambo. So, she goes down, I worked there and they are not, and there is not even a single thing I don't know about them. Where should I start from? Let's go. This company is called uh, Volutes Company, located near one of the universities in Uganda. Men get shortly after crossing the rail line. Street is called Bunyonyi Streets. I won't mention the university because of, you know, because of laws and all that. I don't want to be uh, sued for so many things. First thing they caution you as a worker is never to direct a client where the offices are found. If you've, if you even dare to ask them, they will tell you all sorts of places. You know, it's kind of confusing. So this company, is, oh, this company owns uh, Magu, Mangu Cash App, Isente, Quick Sente, Fair Credit, U Credit, and by the time I left, they had added another new app called Flex, Flex Cash. And you forgive my English. Some of these apps, their names are weird to pronounce as well. So those Chinese employ only cream young girls and boys with very decent degrees shortly after their graduations. I think they send out uh, scouts to scout on graduation days. So, shortly after their graduations, you know that hunger for looking for a job about their unending calls. Any weirdo who has experienced this unending, uh, unending calls before should know that Vami, those calls and pressurized to the limit of breaking. They can pressurize you to the limit of breaking. Imagine you start to work at 8 a.m. and you expect it to be working every single minute. You go off, they monitor you, and that's a penalty. You're supposed to make 500 freaking calls and 300 SMSs each day. Wow, that must be one of the biggest KPIs I've, I've, I've had. And you can't forge those calls. You can't forge those calls. Minus that, you are fired. So that means you have to be very hardworking. Leave alone making calls. Mm -hmm. Leave alone making those calls and SMSs. You do not collect a certain amount of money a week. Let's say average percentage of your collection doesn't hit their set standard. You are fired. So these callers have to do each and everything to make sure you collect. When I remember, I got sick even. So you work up to midnight. What? So you leave office at 5 p.m., reach home and start work again. That happens from Monday to Sunday because there's no day off. Advice to weirdos. When you get that command, don't be pressurized even a single percentage. I have a friend who wants to get that command. So, uh, okay. Okay. Don't feel pressurized at, uh, where, 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 okay, uh -huh, Monday to Sunday, okay, advice to the weirdos, don't feel pressurized, uh, even a single percentage, and you are calls for the first three weeks, then after two months, you'll be recorded as a bad debitor and your case erased, no one can ever call you again, what you do, get money from the first app, pay it. After download all apps, as I listed above, and do what? <laughs> and get from each app. Enjoy your money. Baliba Ferry, imagine their interest on an app. Let's say fair credit is 100 and 110%, all close to that. Because a client applies for 160 in one week, she pays 360. That's terrible. Yo, this must be a 
a serious confession. A serious one. And I can imagine a lot of you that are watching this must have tried or must have used or must have got a call when someone has failed to pay this car money. Me, my friend, I have a friend, I won't mention his name. He got this car money man, calls here because they even called the judge in Charo, the grandmother in the village. And she had to say, well, nah, I don't know what happened. So let's go to the comment section and see what you people had to say about this weird confession. Wevale, let me go back and re-download this heat wave. Baby girl needs to swim. <laughs> I want to go back there. So uh, this one says, uh, what if the confessor is their public relations trying to seduce us? <laughs> that can also be true because these days people do marketing. Eh? Even in, in, in a negative way for them, they are doing marketing. So this one says, Mistake I made was to get money from the first one and don't pay. Had I known this, I would have surely have gotten much more than just 50k I got from one of them. This one is feeling so sad. I got 200k from Fair Credit. I really enjoyed it, of course. I didn't pay back. Ah! Ah! But how do those people even get contacts? Like, like to your contact list? Because there is a way they even call those people in the village. Auntie, because the numbers are in the phone. Everyone over what access. Mm. Contact list, the whole of it. Now what you do, you have to store a number. Eh? You, you, go, you go to the mobile money agent and get those numbers and store them. Yeah. And you store them in your, in your contacts. And then you leave the other one eh, on Google so that they can't access, that, access this one on the phone. Like they access the whole phone. I don't know how they do, but I feel like they You change the Gmail. Because when you change the Gmail, your contacts don't come. <laughs> we might be uh, thinking Kumbe, even them, they thought about this before they started this. So, Confessor, thanks for the advice. This one says, Confessor, us people of Captura have decided that you become our MP. <laughs> this one says, What took you so long to confess? So many people borrowed from the first app and didn't pay. So, uh, do we know maybe would have borrowed, paid the first up, and then you go and borrow from this one? Note that those companies are fully registered companies. Once you borrow their money, pay it back. I was once a victim, but those guys will call, and after they stop, then money will accumulate to a percentage that they want. Then they will start keep tracking you down, and you will be arrested. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I've never had anyone arrested. Never heard of anyone arrested. Eh, because of this book. Yeah, me too. I've never. Maybe this one uh, his works with the company. But never try the app code as ha. Huh? Or else you pay by force. <laughs> Some of these apps, I think they have ghosts. They can make you, they can visit you at night. So this one says, uh, okay, are very much certain. <laughs> Mm. You know those things? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's an app. Juju, Juju load, so you go there and know it's a Juju. Ah, that is just to scare out people. I've seen some even, some politicians say, ah, Njaku syndicated dogo yet. This is they're just scaring you off, you know. Some of them even are so much into church. But anyway, this one says, uh, I'm certain that they will not look for you. Okay, confessor is right. Actually, the telephone number of the debitor is exchanged, number of the debitor is exchanged to all the staff, e.g. 20, and all of them will have to call you at different intervals. Today, this one calls the, now, nah, I have my friend here, Amber, as she has faced that at least. Some, some people have been calling of late. <laughs> This one calls today, that one calls tomorrow. So, after a month or two, the loan is written off. Like, as if what? I who has never got a loan. Whoever they will, one you, your patriotic uh, agenda, Basomese, uh, and Ugandans, Balumi, Balumi, like Ugandans, Ugandans don't want to pay the trolley. Uh, okay, this one says, what about us with no IDs? This one says, that I borrowed money uh, from all those apps you've mentioned and never paid back and nothing happened. So the other one was saying, Smiley they can arrest you. That one should go to hell. So this one says, sounds like you want revenge for the loss of your job. Yeah, that can be true. Which is okay. 
okay. Which is okay. Sometimes revenge is okay. Some, uh, yeah, I don't believe in revenge. Mm -hmm. I don't. I just, I just let go. So someone says, uh, please uh, screenshot this for me. For this, screenshot this post for me. Okay. One more confess. I remember you uh, telling them this time back. Yes, actually. She, she, had, she, she had come in my DM and then, you know. So this one says, and the interest is really too high. This one says, the name we call in a Azima Teba Jiruma. That is the Azimwe. Eh? Hey, <laughs> the Juju will look for you. Do you think the owners of these companies don't see or read this? Hey, Oyabizze, Mono Ulida. So there are so many comments that keep on coming, but you know, because of time, we can't always read all your comments from this post. But what you can do if you want to confess, just go on to the mail that is on this on this YouTube channel. Send us a mail at Elisha Christos uh, dot eh, Elisha Christos at gmail dot com. We'll come and read your confession right here on the Weird Confession. This is episode two. Trust me, we are going to do this every single day. Every single day, we are going to be giving you one single episode of a Weird Confession. So don't go away. What you have to do is only one thing. Just go down here. Subscribe onto this channel, hit the like button, and comment what you think about this confession about those who are man. Money lenders. And money lenders, actually. One day I'm going to bring you a confession about money lenders. Woo! You people, those people, as if they have juju. <laughs> hey! Anyways, my name is Professor uh, from the Weird Confessions. Catch you next time. I love you so much. I work with Amber, my pro. Oyagalo mkuru kukwenja urugu vede nevi jokize mnyumba yo. Kan kwa njulire Backing Montage Photo Studio. Fiba kafuru mkube bifana nyi. No kola video. Oli na wedding. Birthday party. Kuchala. Nika. Baby shower. Photoshoot. Oba music shoot. Nabulichimu chonacho oyagala. Fetu subolo kuwe bijokize vironji. Ebiye biloto vyo. Ate no mwana watu kusinti izo mtu wabuli jo. Tusangipa nangula bikubitala. Kuprime Tower. Level 3. Room D04. Okumanyi visingao. Tukubiri kunamba zino. Note msafu note bili. Emu note nya. Emu bili tanu. Oba, noti musavu tano tano, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, nyan noti tano, King Montage Photo Studio, fetu sobolo kuwe bijukize bilonji, ate no mwana watu kusinti zomu tuwabuli jo.